Mr. God. Okay. Well, I can do that, I guess. Yeah. Versus, yeah. Okay. Uh, versus isn't very useful at all anyway, so I'm just gonna not do that. <laughs> okay. Well. That's fine. Let's get out of here. How do I leave? It's this way, right? There we go. Um. What about to leave the grim? Are you boarding? Yes. Why does this remind me of, like, circus music? I'll be right back. God, it's still going? Can I just skip it? I can't. Fuck. That was stupid. Talk about ridiculous. Lend to the West. Garum. What's with this huge mountain? It's all spitting out smoke. <laughs> Don't you know what a volcano is? Yes, I do. That's when the magma comes burst down the mountain from deep on ground, yeah? You really do now. 
They tell me about it on the ride here. Of course, this is my very first time seeing one. Look pretty cool, huh? They say this area has been an active volcano zone for ages. You always seen this so, so much about many different places. You're all un underestimating my knowledge. I just happen to have lived here longer than you have. Well, I can't imagine someone like ever me becoming like you, Ricardo. I highly doubt I represent your ideal image of an adult. Most likely you'll become a respectable adult. Well, I wonder about that. Continue where we left off. These mountains of bountiful mines. There were miner where there are minerals, there will be smithies. Since ancient times, there have been a city of craftsmen. And where there's excellent weapons, there will be masters of martial arts. The volcano is a famed training ground. Yeah, now that's more my style. A volcano is defined by the worship of the god of the forge. Yeah, so that, that ain't my style at all. Spada, please listen to everything I have to say. Uh, no. While natural worship is not uncommon, this belief system is rather unique. The church adopted many of the local traditions when it was introduced here. Blacksmiths rely on fire on their likelihood and the Vulcan is the god of fire. Most likely Vulcan was worshipped here long before the church was involved. Vulcan, the god of the forge. Anyway, let's head into town. What do you got to eat around here? You know, here always has the right idea. We better get going before her starts running wild. Oh. Hello. Um, okay. I have to go down here to pay stuff. Hmm. It's the last time I used cooking. Heh. Tseh. Food. Nom 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 nom. Hey, what do I have for food? Didn't I get, like, a bunch of... Pretty sure I got a bunch of, uh, recipes. Oh, there it is. Oh. Why do I have to use them? I can't just acquire them? Whatever. Okay. Let's cook. Mmm. X, more info. Defense. Max HP. HP. Attack. Ooh, jerky, huh? Need two meats. Intelligence pretty high. Fish gives you intelligence, really. Luck. make a bunch of these. Let's see, intelligence. TP. Okay. I only have one vegetables? Insufficient ingredients. I guess there's like no vegetables here or something. Four servings of that. I get some fried dough. Okay. Let's look around. The volcano! Even the people of this country, it's sacred! Eh, 
Angie, you said before that in Grom they worship Vulcan, the god of fire, right? Correct, what about it? I thought the church focused on the worship of Devaloka itself, not individual devas. Somehow it seems a bit strange to me that some people still focus on their belief in a single god. Yes, you do have a point there. However, I do not find it easier to believe in a concrete heaven than an abstract one. It is not easier to pray to gods within established personalities. The church teaches that we should seek the return to Devaloka, but if people believe in a single god, yes, then it could cause them to forget about the returning to Devaloka. In the end, people would grow even more attached to this world. And they want to escape from the rigid teaching of the church and live freely. I can kind of understand the feeling. Indeed, I do not consider it a bad thing, however. If we allow that to happen, we are in an effect of creating a new religion doctrine. For the church, that would mean fading into obscurity. Well, I guess the situation is gave birth to the strife between Guam and Negro. We, should get, we shouldn't get ahead ourselves. We should get ahead ourselves. It means more like a case of defying nature and associating with the like of the Deva. Didn't they believe in Vulcan form in the start? No, I do not believe that was the case. More likely, it just so happened that Vulcan could be associated with fire and blackness, so they went with him. Isn't it possible that their ancestors were somehow connected to Vulcan when they still live in Devaloka? It is possible, but either way, they seem to have abandoned the desire to return to Devaloka. Hmm. So they just decided to associate with Vulcan with the volcano, huh? Old Devos were not without concern for the people of Nautica. It's certainly possible that Vulcan might have come for a short visit. Yeah, you might be right. We might even find some clue we left behind. That is true. We should be diligent on our search. Holy hell. Skits, skits, skits. So tell me more about Grom. The city was founded by mountainous people who opposed Regnum. Even now, there's a lot of anano animosity toward Regnum. Oh yeah, is that why they're fighting with Regnum? There's more to it than that. However, it might be part of the reason the war dragged on for so long. So what's special about the city? It's tucked away in a vast mountain range, protected on all sides by towering peaks. The dominant industry is mining. It does have the mine town feel to it. Quality materials produce quality metals. Ironwork and smitheries are quite common. Thanks to the quality of the weapons it produces, though, though the city is a frequent destination for martial artists. Sounds about right. It used to be a hot spot for swordsmen like me. Additionally, the, the, the volcano is a mountain... Uh, a, a famous mountain locale for martial artists. Mercenary groups off and recruit in the city. Militarily, Guam Peru's guerrilla tactics that rely on individual ability to large-scale clashes. Heh, yeah, so already more than our fair share of that strategy. <laughs> I suppose you did. Recently, many tourists have come from the hot springs once private citizens of Guam are suddenly changing. They got hot springs too? Sounds like a nice place. Yeah, it's a nice place. There's an inn. Don't particularly need an inn right now. There's a field here. Where's the weapon shop? There it is. There's an armor shop. I don't know if that's the weapon shop. Oh, for all the women here, beautiful skin hog brings are great for your complexion. Oh, it's a terrible day when children can't play outside because of that man. Oh, no, it's nothing. Hello. Are you from another country? Guam's metalwork can withstand sulfuric fumes from the volcano. It's up here. Nothing. Who keeps sharp stuff by their bed? Okay. I'm gonna sell my shit I don't need. Seal charm. Catnip. Max HP plus four. No special use. Intelligence, agility. Purchase weapons. Great sword. Why would you want five great swords? Standard, 
Magnums.